Dr. Horacek. Butterfly, butterfly. One day, Lucy saw a beautiful butterfly. She played with it and chased it all around the garden. The next day, Lucy couldn't find the butterfly anywhere. But she did find a pink earthworm wiggling along the ground and a brown spider busy spinning her web. Then Lucy discovered a green beetle and a family of very spotted red ladybugs scurrying around. She, uh, she saw a snail with an orange shell slithering. Three purple caterpillars munching a leaf a shimmering blue dragonfly and a yellow bee with a stripe buzzing about. But Lucy didn't see the butterfly anywhere. She looked and looked. Lucy lay down in the cool grass to wait. Then, high in the sky, there it was, her colorful, beautiful butterfly. The end. Now it's your turn to go on a nature hunt, just like Lucy did in our book. Now next time you go outside for a walk, I want you to ask your grown-up to either print up this nature list that I made, it's in the description below, or they can write it down on a piece of paper. And then I want you to go on your walk, and while you're walking around, I want you to check off things that you can find, like a pointy leaf, a cloud, the tallest tree you can find, the whole list, a rough rock, maybe you can find a smooth rock. And then when you get home, I want you to draw a picture of your favorite thing that you found on your hunt. So I found this really cool flower. It was red on the inside and pink on the outside. So that's what teacher Ava drew a picture of. Now maybe even the next day you can go out for another nature hunt and see if you can find another thing of the, these items. Like, can you find another tall tree? Two tall trees on your walk? That would be crazy. All right, so then when you're all done with your picture, if you want, you can have a grown-up take a picture and send it to teacher Ava. Good luck, I hope you have fun, I hope you find lots of treasures. See you.